This is Karen Ramsey of Super Healthy Children. I want to prepare you today a delicious persimmon pie. Now persimmon is this lush fruit that has like an orange-like jelly on the inside and it is absolutely delicious and it's available in the fall um, and I love to prepare pies and smoothies with it and make a creamy, delicious jello with it, which is really yummy too. Today I'm going to make a pie, and for my crust, I am going to be using some medjool dates. And I'd say this is about one cup of medjool dates that are soaking, and mulberries. I'm going to be using mulberries and dates and cinnamon for the crust because I want to have a well-combined pie um, as far as the food goes. I like to follow food combining if I can. Um, so I'm going to put in the mulberries. And these are organic dried mulberries. And I'm going to put in my dates. And I've softened them now for close to an hour. They're still not that soft, but um, I'll be okay if they're just a little bit chunky in the recipe. It doesn't have to be a totally smooth pie crust. I'm going to put in a little bit of the date water. And then I'm going to add some cinnamon. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cinnamon. process up my mulberries, dates, and cinnamon together. So now I have my mulberry date cinnamon crust, which is really smelling fabulous. What a great aroma here. Mmm, nice combinations. And so that's going to be my crust. And I'm going to put that into either a pie plate or a glass dish. So I have here a glass dish. And I'm going to be taking out my pie crust. And I'm going to be putting it into the glass dish and just pushing it down. So I have this beautiful crust that perfectly fills the bottom of this glass dish and it's like super fragrant, great for the holidays. And now I'm going to take these wonderful, really ripe persimmons and you've got to get your persimmons like a jelly-like texture, as ripe as possible. And I'm just going to take these and I'm going to squeeze them right into the food processor. And there's two kinds of persimmon that I'm using here. One is the Hychia persimmon, which is a little bit longer. It's also, I think, more sweet. And I'm just going to squeeze this. Hychia persimmon right into the food processor again. And then there's the Fuyu, I think it's pronounced Fuyu persimmon. And I'm going to actually cut this very ripe, but I'm going to cut this one into the food processor. It doesn't come out as easily as the Hychia persimmon. This one's also really ripe and delicious. I used what, like five persimmon? Um, you could use more than that depending on how much topping you want or if you're using a regular pie dish you will definitely need more. And so 
If you have organic persimmons, which these are, you might even want to put the whole thing in, the skin as well. And I'm going to process the persimmon. So I have a beautiful persimmon sauce for the top of the pie. I'm going to add, I'm going to blend it up a second time and I'm going to add a little, per, a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, so I have another quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. You could even put in a little more. Maybe I'll add a drop more. Tiny bit more than a quarter teaspoon. And I'm going to process it up again. Now I'm going to pour this delicious, beautiful orange color persimmon on top of the crust. Spread it evenly. And now for the topping, I'm going to add some sliced banana. So now my pie is ready. I can't wait to eat it. It's so beautiful. I love the color, that beautiful orange. And the only thing that you'll need to do is to refrigerate it. And, and then um, you'll take it out and the persimmon will be nice and chilled and it will solidify. And then it's just ready to go for your holidays. And so I want to tell you also about my books. I have two books. My first one, Creating Healthy Children Through Attachment Parenting and Raw Foods. And with Creating Healthy Children, it recently won the uh, bronze medal for the Living Now Award in the category of Health and Nutrition through Independent Publishers. So uh, this book and this book are available on my website, superhealthychildren.com products. And this book, Raw Vegan Recipe Fun for Families, is 115 easy recipes and health tips for energetic living. And you're only going to find the simplest, purest raw food recipes in here. So if you want recipes with ingredients that you know you can find and that are not going to be harmful and that are really going to be raw, then this is the recipe book that you should get. Thank you for watching my videos and I welcome you to subscribe to YouTube, my YouTube channel at Super Healthy Children. Look forward to seeing you. I'm going to be making a lot more recipe videos and also have interviews and um, as well I'm going to be doing more talks on the benefits of raw food and other aspects of healthy living. Thanks so much. Have a great day.